Okay, welcome to C Programming. Uh, today we're just going to talk about uh, Assignment 8. We're going to go over Assignment 8, which is your last assignment for this class. Uh, this assignment is going to give you experience using structures, functions, algorithms, and an existing code base. So in class, we have written uh, some code for cards, cards.cpp. We have a deck in there also using some structures. So you can go ahead and utilize that. It's probably going to be beneficial to you so that you have to write less code. And hopefully you understood that code from what we have written uh, in class. To start, uh, if you don't know how to play blackjack, uh, I've given you a reference there for uh, some rules to it. You don't need to read anything more than section two of that site. I'm not asking you to implement all of the different variations of blackjack and the rules that are in the game, just some of the basic uh, rules, and we'll go over that here uh, in today's uh, lecture. So uh, you just need to implement uh, blackjack so a user is able to hit or stay uh, after the cards are dealt, and then you're gonna output the totals and specify whether the players win, lose, or push. The output should be displayed to the user on the screen and written to a file. Uh, the output, I'll show you what the output is that needs to be written to the file, uh, is down at the end. You don't need to, to write all of this to the file, but just uh, the part at the end that I specified. So you're going to start off when your program is run and prompt the user to say what is the name of the output file and let the user type in what it is. So you're going to be writing to a file uh, in this program also. Then you're going to say how many players are at the table between one and six and how many decks are in the shoe between one and six. So the user gets to choose how many decks they're playing with and how many players are sitting at the table. Then you show them what the dealer's up card is. In this case, I've said that the dealer has the jack of hearts up. Player one then gets queen of spades and two of diamonds. What do you wanna do, hit or stay? Well, with a 12 against the dealer 10, you're going to probably hit. So you hit it and they get an eight of clubs. Ooh, that's a good hand now, that's a 20. So you say, what do you wanna do, hit or stay? That's a smart hand, that's a smart play for that user to uh, stay, for the player to stay. Player two has a three of clubs and a four of clubs. What do they wanna do? Well, they're gonna hit, and then they get a 10 of hearts. Uh, that's a 17, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's probably dumb to hit it again, but this player chose to hit again, and then we said they got a queen of clubs. Uh-oh, that player busted. So they're done now too, because they got a number which is over 21. Player three has a 10 of hearts and a nine of clubs. Uh, that's a pretty safe hand, so we're just gonna stay on that one. So now all three of the players have gone through. They're done, it goes back to the dealer. The dealer had a jack of hearts, got a six of clubs. Oh, that looks good, we got a 16. Come on, we need a big card for the dealer to bust, right? The dealer must hit and gets a three of hearts, so it gets a 19. Hmm. So the dealer then has a 19. The player one has a 20, so he won. Player two busted, he lost. Player three has a 19, he pushed, okay? Um, so the way that blackjack works, uh, we have all of the, the cards that are in the deck from two uh, all the way through 10, and then we have jack, queen, king, ace. Two through 10, the value of those cards is the same as the base value, so that's a two through 10. Jack, queen, king all count as tens. The ace can either be a one or an 11. It's a one if you are under 21 still. Um, uh, it's an 11 if you stop hitting, but when you add 11, you're still going to be under 21. Then it would count as an 11. So uh, that's the one tricky hand, the one tricky card is if you have an ace uh, of how to calculate what the uh, user's total score is going to be there. Uh, all of these cards that are coming out need to be random, so you're going to need to use some kind of a random number generator so that you can shuffle the cards and make sure that, that the cards that are coming out are random so that it's going to be a different game every time that you play it. Uh, what you need to write to the output file is just this right here. This is your output. The dealer had 19. What happened to player 1, 2, and 3? That is what's going to be written to the output file. If they play again, you're just going to continue appending to the output file. You do not overwrite. You're just going to continue appending to it. Here are um, the, Here is the grading criteria for uh, this assignment. If you have any questions, let me know. You probably need to start on this assignment early. There is a substantial amount of work that's going to be involved in this one, uh, and you're going to be utilizing uh, the uh, code that we wrote in class. So if you don't understand that, make sure that you get help early so that you don't struggle, especially since this is towards the end of the semester. I'm sure you all have a lot of work from other classes. So try to get started uh, early on this one. If you have questions, let me know. Good luck.